bro I have to be really calm because my neighbor is sleeping but I, I want really to shout like what the fuck is happening because you know we have a symmetrical triangle the price target 97k and here right now what happened we got we broke out through our resistance line but obviously it was a fake out and we dumped again back down so we can delete these lines now what the fuck i draw here but right now we have a new pattern which i show you in a second which is nice but the danger is still here if we go right now on the one hourly we're switching on the one hourly we've been right now on the f before in the, on the 15 right now we switch to the one hourly and we have this massive rising broadening wedge which is a bearish pattern and what I'm afraid, I really, I, I farting so, my smell from my farts are so disgusting because I'm really afraid. I'm 3.3 .3 million dollar in, in positions, long positions. Look at what the fuck, 150 thousand dollar in loss, some positions. I'm really afraid because if we are breaking, in case we are breaking 88k, this would be so dangerous because the price target is is horrible the price target you measure from the last uh, upper touch point to the first um, lower touch point so the price target would be here for bitcoin it's okay it's 81k or a little bit below at 70 or 78k but the problem is imagine what happens here to my trades imagine what happens to altcoins if they're reacting so crazy like a, like really like how it called uh, if uh, women have their days like 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 bitcoin reacting like bitcoin has period like what the fuck or altcoins reacting like they have periods altcoins reacting like they have periods it's crazy so on the 15 minute only the 15 minute charts could save us here because we have here a descending broadening wedge you you we're connecting the the upper points uh, the upper how it's called um uh, really tired the upper candles with the lower candles and the, there's the price target you measure same we measure the last upper touch point to the to the last lower touch point here you have and if we're breaking down then we know 86k is the price price target because it's exactly we would break down here our big symmetrical triangle uh, a big rising broadening wedge is orange one and then we would be broke clearly below it and then 86k and then 80 and 70 between 80 and 78k is our price target however if we manage today in the night to break above it then we are back on track to 93k price target and 93k is in a perfect alignment back on track to the upside with our price target to 97k and this is exactly what i want to see this is exactly what i want to see because our our huge pattern which i showed you before didn't work apparently out I mean, we are forming, to be honest, there are several people drawing different lines because we could see this is a descending broadening wedge, the bullish pattern. Other people say it's an inverse head and shoulders and it's even a bigger one. I mean, it not even, it's not has only hairs, but this one is really huge one. It has also veins here. So this one could be, extreme because the neckline is exactly here around wait i maybe I, wait i delete this for a moment so the neckline would be here at 91k in case we break into the upside then the price tag is from the top to the downside the price tag is basically same 93k but this one is a huge one but the last one turned out was not so not so hard pattern like we assumed so I hope this time the Wiens one will work better out or the descending broadening wedge, which is also again in alignment with the price target of the inverse head and shoulders with Wiens and hairs. So let's see if this uh, one of this works out. And these are all bullish patterns. 93K is here. And please don't tell me the bull market is over. Look at this. To, uh, 11, 12, 12, 13. 
we have always the bear market, what we had, then the pre-bull, first bull, second bull. And that's what I tell you. We are exactly here in this phase. We are in the second phase. We are, in a, we are before the last parabolic run to the upside. We have four months to go to last parabolic run. We are right now here. Obviously, we can go right now to 78k because we have a lot of liquidity and all this shit. I can explain the next video there. But not now. I think everyone, everyone is saying we are going to 78k. But I tell you, Maybe we could go first to 120k, everyone missing out, FOMOing in, buying in at 110, 120k, just imagine, and then we see the drop to 80k. I kiss you and see you later.